Welcome to the caboose. I have some exciting things to show you all today. Just warning, it is a disaster in here, but there's a reason for that. Um, I just got home a little while ago after being on vacation for a couple of weeks. Bernadette, where are you? Bernadette. Oh, there she is. So Bernadette is extremely happy that I'm home. There she goes. But um, we have some imp improvements here in the caboose. So, um, y'all notice I have lights on in here, which is a rare occasion. But uh, you'll notice up here in the cupola, we have uh, the interior walls are being worked on. So up here, the insulation is being covered up. Thank God. <laughs> and then the uh, living room, master bedroom. Here's what it looks like. I am just so excited. This is finally coming together. Um, so thankful for my Whitesville friends, uh, David Morris, uh, David Nash, and their crew have been out here working on Little Caboose, and it's just so exciting. This is one more step towards Little Caboose being uh, fully restored, and um, of course, this is just the inside. The outside has <laughs> a ways to go. But, uh, you know, we're getting somewhere. So, um, so yeah, that's, that's the inside that's, that's about done. Uh, they got to do the dining room, kitchen, spare bedroom. And uh, so just a reminder of what Little Caboose looks like on the outside. Of course, they got stuff scattered around out here. Getting ready to work on some things. Um, but... Uh, Here's Little Caboose on the outside. For those of you who are new to my YouTube channel, this is an Illinois Central Extended Porch Caboose um, given to me by the Paducah and Louisville Railroad who inherited a lot of Illinois Central equipment. And so Little Caboose looks pretty rusty. He needs some work. And um, so it will come together eventually. I've got some friends who um, are going to be helping with repainting the outside. The plan is to repaint it with its original Illinois Central paint scheme, not the Illinois Central Gulf, because there's a lot of cabooses in this area that have the ICG paint scheme, but none that I know of that have the original IC paint scheme. So that's what I'm going to try to do and hopefully get it on the historic registry. So we shall see. And then, uh, down the way, you can see my narrow gauge railroad track and uh, the uh, crossing signal and everything down there. So, uh, and the tr locomotive is sitting under the shed. I'm getting ready to wake it up after two weeks of sleeping and go work on some things in the train station at Union Station. So, uh, I will catch up with you all later.